A Southern Illinois DEA agent killed in the line of duty back in 2021 receives an honor in his hometown. Today, Grayville leaders unveiled a new sign that will dedicate a portion of Interstate 64 to fallen Special Agent Michael Garbo. Eyewitness News' Cody Bailey was at the ceremony. He has the story. A special honor for a special agent. State representatives, Illinois Department of Transportation, and the family of DEA Special Agent Michael Garbo unveiled this new highway sign in his honor. The push was led by State Representative Adam Nieberg. With uh, the help of my office and also the Garbo family, we're able to get this through not only the House and the Senate, but also here today uh, for the unveiling ceremony. And DEA Spe Agent Michael Garbo is a, is a true American hero. Garbo, a Grayville native, was killed in the line of duty during a shootout in Arizona in 2021. His widow, Vita, and daughter Alexis were on hand to see the sign for the very first time. It was hard because we shouldn't have to be doing this for a great man. So seeing it, 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 it brings joy and happiness that he is recognized through this community. Interstate 64 between mile markers 128 and 132 will now be known as the DEA Special Agent Michael Garbo Memorial Highway. The completion of a lengthy process for Representative Niemerg and an honor the family says would make Garbo smile. He was one that never took credit when credit was due. Yeah. He was the one that is always a group effort. So for him to have something like this uh, named after him, I know he's honored and him and his dad in heaven are probably going, see dad, look what I got, you know. It's important what Special Agent Garbo did uh, for the people of this country. You know, he put himself first and that's what the law enforcement community does. So it's it's incumbent upon me as a legislator to make sure legislation like this this gets through so we're able to honor the family. We hope that everyone that goes by that sign will realize what a hero he was. Reporting in Grayville, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.